Good evening and welcome to the Always Smiling Faces Questions and Answers. Q and A back. We haven't done one for a while. Q and A back. It's been a couple of weeks. What number is this? Twelve slash months. We've, we've done more Q and A's and we've scored goals this season. Jesus, that's a slash. That's a slash. <clears throat> so is it? Anyway, so <laughs> let's kick off straight away with uh, we've had a number of people come in with the same topic. Okay. Mm, I can imagine. One of them is, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of this guy, uh, Michael George Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, get in there. Is he your mate? Oh, is he your mate? Is he your mate? Is he? Is he? Oh, I never, uh, every I never knew. Time. Didn't have to know. <laughs> every time. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry Miss Jackson sends in, as, long, as well as uh, our friend Daryl Thompson. As well as another guy called Jake. Oh, wait, mate, you used the wrong question. And Eddie. Well, all four of them. Is your real dad? Eddie, Eddie Walker. Eddie Walker. No, no relation. Is that, is that actually that? So, no, it's my dad's called Dennis. Got, dad's called what? Dennis. Edward Dennis. No, no, just Dennis. All oh, right, okay. That's so, me, they, they, they are all. <laughs> so, we got like one, he's like Kennedy. Just Dennis. <laughs> just Dennis. He hasn't got a surname or anything. <laughs> What's his name? Dennis. <laughs> Oh, how we am I getting on silence? Oh, yeah, then right. Some some pres- read, read some of these questions. So anyway, me. these all send in along the same sort of theme. Dennis, he sounds like a shit Henry Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> like Aldi's Henry. It's, it's actually what, uh, the name of fire engines? Dennis, well, yeah. Right, Dennis. Oh, yeah. yeah. So all of those four want to know, after the weekend, uh-huh. are we going down? Um, no. No? No? No. no. Why are you nodding? No. Well, it's a hard, it's a hard question, isn't it? It's a, it's it's a hard, Dennis. Yes, Dennis. People want to hear that. Uh, um, what? I'm going to say no, but I, I really wish we'd sign someone to make sure that yeah. the no would be more... To give a bit of a hand. Aye, because I'm worried that if we don't get anyone, which we obviously we won't, then I, it is... Hard. Who's going down? Have you had a big I, three teams now? I'm more worried... This season than I've... I'm not worried even, at all. Even really? even yeah. the seasons we went down, I wasn't as worried as I as I currently am. I'm not worried now. Well, Fulham, I think Fulham will go. Huddersfield... Huddersfield... Just Cardiff. change the manager, though. Cardiff, Cardiff will finish bottom. Right, or okay. Dean Harry. Oh, the, the Dean Kenny, you know. Cardiff, Huddersfield hmm. and... Fulham. Fulham would be... Are we taking them three? I hope so. I think we'll finish fourth, <laughs> fourth bottom. <That'll> do. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, if we stay up on goals scored, or bloody not goal, 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 scored, diff- goal the difference, chance. whatever it is, <laughs> if Keaton Clark gets head, to do more. head-to-head results, fair player points, I couldn't give a fuck. If we finish fourth <laughs> bottom, fine. I'll, yeah, that last I'll take fourth bottom right now. I'll say fourth bottom every season. So, so I'll say it here before. If someone comes up to you now and goes, fourth bottom. Season finishes now. You take it, don't you? Well, yeah. What's what's better? Yeah, what what else is it? Oh, I finished fifth. Oh, I've got up a face. <laughs> does it mean now? Does it? The money we get, we're not going to spend it anymore. Anyway, so. Again, Ashley, crack on. <clears throat> cool, uh, Neil. Oh, did Neil, you just say cool? Cool. I did. Cool. cool. <laughs> hey, cool, man. <laughs> hey, cool guys. <laughs> cool. Welcome to the MLS podcast. Hey guys, this is us. <laughs> Here we are on YouTube. <laughs> so Neil sends in. Do you think Rafa has already made his mind up regarding the future at the club, regardless of what cool. Ashley does or more likely doesn't do? Rafa, I'll be surprised if Rafa even makes it to the end of the season. Oof. If what, no one comes in sacked? this month, if not a single player co- comes in this month, he's he's stupid not to walk. He'll not walk. I don't see him walking. No, I don't uh, Sorry, I don't see him walking this season. Yeah. Come May, I see him walking. You could literally get the day after the final day and go, that's it. Do you not think he could Well, he's in contract do... until June the 1st or something, isn't he? Well, could oh, you not... he is, isn't do you he? not think he could do what Keegan did? What? Obviously, the, the there's lies there. dismissal. Yeah, so there's lies there. So it, he feels he's like he's forced out. He's absolutely got a case. He's 100% got a case. Well, we don't know if he has, depending on what's been said and what's been well, Of course he has. He, he... Ashley has gone on camera, live, on TV, it means and for categorically people, stated it. Have you seen our Prime Minister? Oh, she ever does this lie on TV? True. Doesn't it doesn't matter if he's been on TV and said it. Shut up. You can't say that about Teresa. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, well, she's, she's, she's your number one. No, but it's like oh, anyone can lie on TV. You don't have to get out of court. Or... You've just fucking lied on camera there. 
Do you know what I mean? Oh, Teresa? That was ridiculous, that one. <laughs> that fan's well, not good. Mother Teresa there. <laughs> no, sorry, that was ridiculous. That. He's got, he's got, he's obviously got a nigga out of going, but well, he, that guy over there said it on telly. Unless it's on paper. Oh, who cares? There's nothing. There's nothing <laughs> exactly. If it's on paper, different scenario. And if it's not on paper, which it will be? Which it will be? Do you think it will be? No, nah, man, of course it will be, man. You have some clothes, they'll have a little, like, they'll have the paper, right, they'll have a little star at the bottom, mate, you can hardly see, and then there's a star, you like, present it to court and go, so that star means this, and there'll be papers like that over here. And just be like, In the inside of a Sports Direct bag. Every single reason why I didn't buy anyone. So, you think he'll go before the end of the season, he'll walk, if we don't get investment in this January? I wouldn't be shocked if he went, though. Uh, two weeks of that left. You think he'll stay at the end? Yes, I do, definitely. Yes. Yeah, I think he'll stay at the end. <clears throat> so Neil thinks he's he's away at the end of the season as well. Um, so he has the follow up question of uh, who will be the manager come August? <laughs> Sherwood. <laughs> the comments on the weekend. So what people don't realise, I've I've answered <laughs> the question after Sherwood said that statement. So you know on the BT Sport feed where Aye. it cuts off where Sherwood ends. Robbie Savage then goes to me and says, "So Sherwood saying that." Mike Ashley deserves credit. And do you know, do you know, after an interview, what do you think? But why the fuck did I not say this? <laughs> yeah, well, So, like, I'm on like TV and I just crumbled under pressure. And I was like, well, any, anyone that brings Rafa Benitez in deserves credit, no matter who you are. And I went, but that's where the credit stops with me. But then afterwards, I went, why the fuck did I say that? Because well, like, he didn't bring him in, did he? Apparently, it was. Yes, but he, at the, end, the way I was thinking of it was, was because Benitez, yeah, Benitez approached Benitez, the club, didn't he? Approached the club. But at the end of the day, Anyone could approach the club. It doesn't mean they're going to get yeah, brought in. Yeah, that's fair enough. There's still yeah. going to be wages, wages yeah. to be. There's still going to be contracts to be sorted. Yeah, that's fair enough. So at the end of the day, Charlie and and Ashley, Ashley yeah. did get Rafa secured into being the manager of the football club. The reason he doesn't deserve credit right now. Rafa basically walked through the door and said, "I'm going to come to this club." But Rafa and, could and walk through the door and say, "I want seven million a year." It doesn't mean he's going to get it. But he's still going to be four. He got six, didn't he? He's still going to deal a bit. My point was, you can bring Rafa and Diaz into a club, but unless you're going to give them the money to do something with it, that you could bring anyone into a club. The reason Rafa's there right now is because he's the best chance of keeping this. What? Well, how would describe describe the team? Average team at best. Getting the best out of an average team. That's what he's there to do right now. Yeah, I, I still don't... No, it doesn't matter. But like after the interview, I thought, why like, Why did I not mention this? Yeah, but quote apparently on, quote I'm not allowed to say things which lead into more questions upon questions because I'm not the interviewer. <laughs> so could you just turn on there and say, I, I disagree with everything you just said? And yeah. I don't want any more questions, I'm just telling you a fact. Yeah, Okay. I could, yeah. So next time... But he, but he didn't. Yeah. Next he's time... And actually no. apologise. <laughs> Don't stop that. <laughs> well, Don't you stop. said you, you sat there and said he, he deserved it. He'd done very well to bring in, bring in Rafa. Huh? I didn't see you. Can, I, can well. I distance myself from any association <laughs> with those comments? Thank you. <laughs> it wasn't the guy's going, oh, did all three would not get called Ashley, Ashley apologies at one point. <laughs> he, 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 he has, he has sure. many, many times. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I said he did well for getting Shira in and Keegan back. At the time, I was over the moon. Um, Means I love Ashley and Martin. I think sometimes we're blinded by the hatred and like we can't. We can't say no. We can't say a good thing about can't Ashley. I know no. there's not many things good to say about him, but as soon as you say the tiniest little thing, there's people on your back because everything Sherwood said was spot on. He basically said Rafa's there to get the best out of those players that are there. He's not going to get a penny to spend. Everything he said was it was spot on, and everyone just seemed to jump at him. Well, the, the will because if he wasn't necessarily well, defending. If, Ashley. if if you're if you're not on that TV. With a big sign saying Ashley's a wanker, then they don't like mm. it. That's it. There's no other narrative now with with fans. It's like if you're not totally on the camp of everything in life, Brexit is Ashley's fault. Everything is Ashley's fault. Then they don't know. I'm sorry. That's just that's just how far it's got now. Yeah, you can't see. It, you it, can't see anything. Else. Obviously, the, the things, the things that he's <clears throat> done have massively, massively overshadow any good, sort of positivity yeah, and good possibly. that he's that he's done in. There has been some modicum of, of things that he's done right. He, he gave, he spent a lot of money with McLaren. He gave money in the summer when we went down and stuff like that. But yeah, still then still, you uh, then look at the reasons he's had to do it. Yeah, yeah. he still got recruitment Reaction. bang on. He got recruitment bang on when when as tough as it sounds when Pardew was there uh, early doors because I remember Pardew was on Newcastle uh, Radio Newcastle. I remember the interview. I was I remember sitting in my dad's car. So when you were on the car, and I listened to the full lot. And fans were calling and going, oh, it's an unbelievable job you're doing. Um, 
blah blah blah. How how what's happened with recruitment? And he was like, oh listen, like we've this has been Mike's idea of getting these players. So that's when we're saying goodbye. We had signed all of them players. Everyone loved them. Crikey, man. We're having French dinner and bloody croissants and flags and that at the ground. We had a French dinner. It was absolutely embarrassing. It was embarrassing. I'm sorry. If Sunderland did that when they had all them island players and had an Irish day and they were drinking Guinness. They did? Would have, well, they did every week? Well, no, <laughs> well, not like we did. We, we went berserk for that French day. It was embarrassing. We had can girls there. It was embarrassing. Did it we? was. Yeah, we I did. remember I being there going, this is, this is cringy, this is awful. But at the time, because everything's lovely and everything's gorgeous, I remember everyone loves so, it. I remember taking a French got flag to Aston right. Villar away. <laughs> the season. problem was, though, he got... We just signed to Bucci. <laughs> he, got, he was shite. He got, he got recruitment. He was terrible. He got recruitment that good. He thought it was going to work every time that way. And obviously it never happened again. But, but it would have had he have stuck to that, that plan. I don't know. There's not many four million pound goodbyes in the world. He got a bit lucky. We got lucky. You got your you course, you did. You got demo bars for now. You've got to stick. There's, there's not many. If, if you're gonna, if there's you're not gonna, many, not many demo bars around for now. If you're gonna have that that model, you've got to carry that model model through. We haven't even carried that model through for the last four or five seasons because we haven't <clears> been buying anybody. We we'll have technically. Yeah, we've we'll been buying. So you look back. You look like what's he's called? Bigger Romani, or whatever he was called. He was brought in because he was supposed to be someone to sell. Yeah, him. That uh, is, he was there. Ivan he Tony. Was he was another one. Ah, but these are youth players. Perez was you, one of them. These are youth players that you're bringing in. Youth players, development squad. Yeah, but you're, you're bringing, you're bringing no. Cabela, you're bringing Talvin. Cabela and Talvin, crazy yeah, 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 yeah. But you bring, you bring youth players in to have the, the hope of getting them in the first team. That's Aye, but not within youth not player. within a season, two seasons. Well, well, I, with Perez? I don't see the point in having Because why do? Why, why had to throw him in? Well, he's, be, uh, he, he's, he's. He's been alright, hasn't he? He's progressed faster than, yeah, than, he, than what he, he should have originally. Yeah, right. That's yeah. true, I'll give you that, yeah. I'll but that. at the end of the day, you look at some of the, the, the ones that you've mentioned there, Torvan and Cabela, they're classed as failures. But Total failures. Really, really. Telvin could have been better, I still believe that. I think if we had a given Cabela could as well. They, they were both very, very good we, players. We were given. As, the, as they've, they've shown since they've then gone back to France. Our fans were joking out towards Telvin. They were shouting, I was at the game and all. You're going to fit away the shirt. That's disgusting, that, you know. Why the fuck would anyone? To be fair, he didn't, do his, he didn't do himself any favours because he did stick his head up his arse and just well, he, give up playing, didn't he? Yeah. But you've got to you've got to give players time to adjust. Of course like, you you've have. got to give them the season. You, you have to, no matter what. You've got to give them the season. Of course, you have. And they weren't given that. Cabela as well. Cabela. It, well, they're both given half a season, weren't they? Yeah. And but look what Tovan. To, to wanted days. away. That's that's one way of looking at it. Wasn't he probably it? wanted away because he was getting just yeah. abused from the same. Well, point, I, yeah. well, I wouldn't want to be either. I wouldn't want to be here if I was just getting crap like that. I'd be like, oh, I can't, sorry. And who's, if his last was saying, shall we go home? You'd be like, yes. Oh, I'd go home now. with her any I'll go minute anywhere with her. Oh. Oh, it was, oh. She was scared. Next question. <laughs> uh, Dom sends in, um, Mark, you're looking great in your hoodie tonight. Uh, how much money do you have on nil nil at the weekend? Is that from Dom? Dom, yeah, he's putting his mortgage on it. I don't think you mentioned the hoodie, mate. So if anyone d- does like Mark's hoodie, you can get it off Dom. Do you want to give the website, Mark? www.guillermoclothing.co.uk There we go. And you do get a discount if you use the AWSF pod. 10%. There we go. They've actually got 40% off sale at the minute. So don't use the 10% one, because you can get 40%. Try, no, try <laughs> using, exactly using it on top. Get 50 so off. Get 50 off. <laughs> I don't think you do, right? <laughs> I don't think you if do. It tweet, don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it doesn't, tweet Dom and complain. Yeah, don't tag us, mate. So he's 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 uh, bang on nil nil at the weekend. Nah, it's so not gonna we'll, be. It's not. We'll come on to that one in our next podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Might um, be a short one. <laughs> <laughs> so and again, in a bit of a theme, we've got uh, Neil's asked this one, Daryl's asked this one, uh, Pete's asked this one, um, and it all features one man, one man that has been released. From his oh. existing club. I wasn't expecting that. And it is a certain uh, Johan Kebab. Re sign Kebab. <laughs> Johan Kebab. Right, this question goes to Decker because Decker hates him. Are, are uh, we so desperate at the minute? Absolutely. If Decker say him, bring Kebab back, that shows how desperate yeah. I'd, I'd have him in a heartbeat. Yeah, I would as well. Yeah. You know what it is? I look yeah. at all three, three players that they're releasing and I'd have all three of them. The thing is, right? He's kind of got a chain. The, so the thing is, you've got to look at it. Well, he's in bloody. Well, he's got someone else over there. He's in. Was he China? He's like in like the, one of those Arab countries, like, like Dubai or something. Or something. Aye. He'll go anywhere. Qatar or something like that. Aye, he's 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 he'll go anywhere. Saudi Arabia. 
anyway. Yeah, yeah he will. Unfortunately, I mean... Well, even the Palace fans are, are saying they would have him back. He wasn't even making the first team for Palace when he was last year, man. Ah, but, it, but, it's, but it's a squad game, isn't it? You've it's got... Right, nice to turn to Kabai. Come on, As yeah. much as I love Kabai, right, when was it, five years ago? He spent three seasons at Palace, didn't he, after us? Yeah. Well, he went to PSG, yeah, PSG for a PSG season, PSG, didn't he, right? Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, no. <coughs> yes, we went to PSG. So five, five years ago, five seasons ago. Looking at it, he was great for us, right? Obviously, up until he refused to play. But once he did come back after that game... He was great again yeah. after that, wasn't it? Arsenal? But it was five years ago. What what sort of player is he now? He's still going to be better. He's, better, he's, he's still going to be better here, here than we get a free kick, we'll make score stuff. one. I, I I would have him as just an option. It's an option. It's a better option. Than you look at our squad that bench on, on Saturday. Our squad didn't have him in field. Threadbare, threadbare. So last last week we had Andy Carroll coming back. Would you give this year we've got Kevin Nolan coming would back? Would you give him a contract? I'd have Kevin Nolan back. <laughs> get, get Kevin Nolan and Joey Barton back. Barton will be can he fit? He's training every day, isn't he? With Fleetwood Town. Is he still playing? Is He's he a manager. Like manager. Manager of Fleetwood. No, he's just manager. Who, who which other expert do you want to bring back? Uh, Shearer. No. Bad legs, bad That's knees. still playing. Ball. Let's bring down a ball. Oh, back. right. Some of the Demba still playing, isn't he? Yeah. I don't have. Oh, like Remy. Ben Arthur? Yeah, Benny. Did you see that goal that he scored? That was the goal. See, I'd, he took like the ball and he, got, he, he didn't even get an assist. He put it on a play for someone. Like I he? said the other week, I'd, I'd take him back in a heartbeat. So we're at the point where, where Decker, Decker despises Kabai. Mm. He's taking him back. Mark despises Ben Arthur. I'd even have fucking Sosoko back. Ah, uh, back. Let's bring Gufran. Let's bring Gufran back. Let's get the squad back again. <laughs> Let's get the band back together. I didn't know that last week and said that I'd have Sosoko back. Just for so- anyone that can get the ball and run with, with the ball. That's all I'm after. I think he's actually starting to deliver yeah, well, as a yeah. footballer. Yeah. Yeah, so, you so we're getting ball. loan players in, aren't we? Well, That's what it's going to be. Yes, we're getting loan players in. Do you think we'll get we're anybody? Do you think we'll get anyone? Do you yeah. actually think we'll get loan players? In? So what? I, on like going back to that interview I was doing the other day, well, they asked me the question: Do you, do you need to bring a player in? We don't need to bring a player in. Well, that's what we he need said. to bring think, several. Is it Sutton? Chris. Aye. Uh, he said to play for Blackburn. He said do you need to bring players in, and I went 100. percent I went, if we don't bring them in, we'll get relegated. I went, but the problem I'm having at the minute, and the worry I'm having is, are we going to bring players in that are going to progress the team? Or are we going to just bring players in as bodies and just take another side step? Similar to what we did in the summer. I know it wasn't a great, like much of a side step, but it wasn't a great improvement from the season before. At the time, I thought we kind of agreed it was, I felt, because I thought, well, we kind of thought Key was better than Marino and we got Rondon in, which was better than Slimini. Um, well, I'd strengthened strength the centre half beyond all told, you know mm. what I mean? So there was definitely. We didn't strengthen it enough. Yeah, I agree. There, we didn't strengthen. See, it was I, a big step forward. So my, no, my, no. my view was is that we we probably slightly improved on the starting eleven based on the fact that we we kept a hold of Kennedy. We'd got we expected more from one. Man, but we expected more from Kennedy. Mm. Were, uh, was squad overall was had had less strength and depth. <clears throat> so one of the question was, was it, it came back to Kennedy that said it was I think it was Robbie Savage who said. So Michael Owen's still your record sign. I went, it's embarrassing. I went, for a club of Newcastle United to have teams that have been promoted, relegated, then relegated again, still to beat our transfer record, which was, what, 10, 11 years ago now? Mm. 12 years ago, maybe. It's embarrassing, I went. But on the flip side of it, we were all screaming for Kennedy to be our record sign in last season. Yeah, that's what Looking at it at this point right now, you look at it and thinking, why the fuck did we ever even suggest yeah. that? Because he's been diabolical that's, this year. That's exactly what I said at the time. You, you, you can break your transfer record all you want, but it doesn't it doesn't guarantee anything. Oh, yeah, it doesn't mean success, um, does it? But well, I not, think... Not when you look at the, the players that you know, Bournemouth are signing from bloody Liverpool for £19 million, million pound for a, you know, a f- God, sixth choice hmm. striker. Really what I, seen, I can't remember the opposition, right, but I've seen a, a, a thing on Twitter or somewhere, or I don't know where it was, that Newcastle played a game 18 years ago on Saturday oh, and the starting line yeah, was £68 yeah. million pounds yeah. worth and now the one Which on was the was, same was Jesus 48 yeah. so it was £20 million pound more expensive 18 years ago that's embarrassing that, that's isn't embarrassing it? isn't it when you look really well, there's like been that. a few stats like that isn't it where, where it was I think was it the the Man United game when we beat them 5-0 because it was a, the anniversary a few weeks back and they were saying find me that that tweet and send me because I could make a good edit out of that so it was something along the, the lines of what had I mean, a, you could a four and a half million pound Midfielder playing, which was David oh. Batty. We had no, uh, a twelve million pound strike playing, and and this, that, and the other, and it was like literally that that team that beat Man United five nil was had, had the same same value as the team that's playing now. 
On the flip side, you could have you could have on Saturday you might you could have put Murphy on there and Shelby, and then that would have been not and void because it's ten and twelve. Yeah. Sure. Do, do you know what I mean? There's, 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 there's <coughs> the, you know, the, yeah. you know what I mean. But anyway, the, the principle is on Saturday that team was forty eight million. Eighteen years ago on the same day, it was worth sixty odd. So goodbye. If there's a chance to resign him. At the end of the day, like the, the wages, it's not can, happening. Can the wages and his age. From? Is it just because he's free? free agent? Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. He's he got released. He's got anyone, released so from it. his club. Um, no, Why has he been released though? Money. Problem. It's end of their season, money. isn't it? It's really money problems. You, you, you would, you would have him. The only thing I would question from where he's been is if, we, even if we did get him, is he going to be match fit at the level that we need him to be at? Mm. Has he been playing? You've just said Dubai or somewhere. Or? I'm sure that's what the one that I've read. Basically, I've got. He's going to slip us on every game. So he slip us on. He's not really he's, he's doing gonna, much. He's going to want too much wages, and he's <clears throat> he's cracking on with his age now, isn't he? Yeah. It's never going to happen. He'll go to China. He, I think he will. Yeah, that's what I said. Well, that's why you end up playing. They always end up with Turkey, don't they? It'll just be a, a big money move for the last couple of years of his career. Whatever. Hey, look at Anatovic. They've just offered what sixty odd million pound to take him over. Well, not necessarily that. They're not asking much. It's only thirty five, but it's the wages, isn't it? Wages. Eighty grand more than what he's on now. Yeah. He's on a hundred now already. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Crazy. 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 Do you know what he said? He came up and says, "I want to win titles in China." That's what he said, and like the club are like, why? I? Of course you do. Yeah, if that was Newcastle, and that was on our players saying that. <laughs> uh, the tweet that I put out <laughs> on the official account would just say, why? I? Yeah. Well, the West Ham fans are going ballistic, but again, I've said this about us. You got short memories. Like you got you got short memories with them. Them to the same at Stoke. Oh, yeah. Right. Exactly. Them invaded yeah, yeah, yeah. Stoke, and I come to them and he was a hero because he left Stoke in in the lurch. Now he wants to leave them. We've done it at you get Kavai in the first exactly. place. Exactly. And you got short memories? Well, I've got short memories. Well, it doesn't fit your narrative, you're not happy. So, next question. Um, so that's three for Kavai. He's not coming, though. But what happened? Yeah, Adam yeah. Kavai. So, Paul. Four for I'll have a kebab if he signs, definitely. You want kebab? Paul and. Uh, Just read Paul's. Paul sends in uh, Are we going to sign anybody this month? Or, in fact, ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Carroll will come in. Where? Straight out the... Andy Carroll. Straight out the gates. What, this summer? I mean, sorry, this winter. Yeah. Anyway. What, we're saying this window? Yeah. No. Eh? No. We'll get him on a loan. Not a chance. We'll, we'll get a loan with can't get, a bag. Can we, we can't get him on loan. Oh, shit, we can't. We can't, we we can't get a loan from, we'll send from the Premier back League. back and we'll get Carroll on loan. So why can't so, we just because we've got... Because we've already got... Who have we got? Rondon and Kennedy. Oh, fuck that. So if we send Kennedy back... His championship, does that not matter? It's not Premier League, is he? Who? Rondon. Oh, that's a shame. Does that not matter? He said yeah, two Premier League. Can you only just have one? It's that's not just one Premier two. League. Two Premier League, isn't it? I thought. Yeah. That's a shout, that. I'm not sure. Yeah. No, Good me. Sure I, have... I don't know the answer. The you know, I'm sure you only have one. Nah, he must be on more one. Well, I'm trying to think of other clubs. Have they not got a couple from other anywhere else? Well, last season we had Kennedy and Because we're and talking Slimini. about if we wanted somebody else. Aye, he's right. We had Kennedy and Slimini last season. We must have somebody else on loan. I love how is it not just two? Never watch this and I'm so is it not just like, oh, is, is it not just Slimini. two loans from England then? Nah, I can't be right. Can't nah, be. Surely not. Because if that's the case, then lower. No, but what we're talking about. We'll never have that many loan players. Yeah, in there. but we were talking about having to send Kennedy back if we wanted to bring yeah, him. Yeah, but I never, cheek, my brain we? never thought that West Ham weren't in the Premier League. Nah, every, West Eye, West Brom. Wish West Ham were. We'll, we'll, we'll only get loans from overseas. Yeah, so I'd, to be honest, and I know I said Carol, Carol there, but I would take him back for six months just to see how he did play. We're desperate at the moment. We'd, we'd, he'll he'll, 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 he'll leave moment. West Ham this this transfer window. So, so do you think if... if the, Because he's out of contract, isn't he? If the deal was there to be done, do you think it could be an option for him? I'd love to have him back in there. Would you? I love him, <laughs> would I, he do that too? I, I don't know, know whether, he's, whether, his wages, home, whether his wages would scupper, yeah, well, scupper the deal. Yeah, we'll two weekend. Do you know what it is? Well, it I, I honestly think he'd be the. I don't mind sound stupid with this, but he just might have that little bit if he signed just to ignite us, the fans, a bit. And I know he's not amazing. He I, would. I, know he's not no, he would. I, I get just, I just board. feel as if would. it would do something you know, <coughs> for the whole place. So, do you know what? Um, he's not that great. But, yeah. The bloke who cuts Perez's brother's hair. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> Paddy. Hi, Paddy. <laughs> the um, bloke that cuts Perez's brother's <laughs> hair. <laughs> Well, because we all know who cuts Perez's hair. Perez's dad. No, buddy. So he cuts everybody. He cuts Kabai's hair. Shall we ring him? Well, I've got his number. Well, I do. Shall we ring him? See if Kabai's coming back. <laughs> well, not now. Might have. Might have. Get me a cut. You also cut Jos Lewis hair. <laughs> but what I was going to say? He cuts all the players. He was hair. at Andy Carroll's birthday party last week. So Perez's. Week. So he had his birthday party in short. He doesn't time. fucking cut his hair, the long haired so, greasy bastard. <laughs> Andy Carroll looked absolutely <laughs> bladass on some of the videos he put on. 
<laughs> Absolutely hammered. He loves the drink, doesn't he? It's his birthday. He just loves life, doesn't he? Just loves. Remember when he had living Kevin Owens? He just chance? loves drink, <laughs> a great chance. drink drugs and girls. One of my favourite around Newcastle United chants that oh, we all want living Kevin Owens house. <laughs> yeah. I love that team, man. I love that team. Hey, Next one. Lordy. Uh, NUFC fan zone. So uh, this one's a bit of a left field question. Very topical though. Um, uh, mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on Spygate between Derby County and Leeds United? It was absolutely hilarious. Do you think it's cheating or fair game? Uh, they believe that every club in the country has probably done th- something similar at some point. Don't so do you know when you go to games and <clears throat> scout games? Is that not just a similar thing? Yeah. But oh, they know, they know you're, you're there and you're in the in the stand and that watching. It's, don't it's not, um, let's be fair, it's not, it's not gentlemanly like, is it? It's like, yeah. it's not, it's not, it's probably not right, but I don't really see any much wrong with it. You're just, you're trying to get the upper hand, but that's a bit like watching tape off of other games. It's a bit like, yeah, it's a bit like anything, isn't it, really? At the end of the day, they were trying to say that it was public property. Anyone can stand there and watch a game. Mm-hmm. I mean, apparently they found him a ball cut as an arsehole, so I disagree with that. <laughs> they reckon, that's what they say. And then two so weeks could anyone that, physically anyone, go in to watch this? Well, that's what they say. That it was, it was, it was on public property, the training ground, so anyone can go and walk along and, 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 and watch it. But obviously, they found, apparently the, the same guys found him in a bush outside two weeks before that. <laughs> they found him hiding in a bush. And the Dobby guys were like, hang on a second, what are you doing? You're from Leeds, get away. Came You're back. But how, Actually, like, was, what, was he like, oh, did he have a like, tracksuit for that one? Full <laughs> initials on. <laughs> but no, nah, for me, I, there's nothing wrong with it. He had the uh, initials, LUS. If I, if I was a Dobby player, Leeds United spy, it would just ignite me even more to want to win. I'll be really honest, if I found out they were spying, I was like, fuck, it was beat anyway. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah. We only knew he was a spy because like, he had a like, weird moustache <laughs> and a monocle in. <laughs> Like a bowler hat. Did you see these really? fans with the binoculars, man? They see it in the way end. And the binoculars, they yeah, yeah. were spy. We were yeah. all it was quite funny. Oh, you know? Hello. It was funny. It's because I said something about the monocle. As much as I hate Leeds, I hate Leeds, but that there was a chant where one guy standing on the chair, he's got the binoculars, he was spy. We celebrated like that as well. It was funny. It was funny. It's good to celebrate like that. But to me, Dobby, it's got to be better. Yeah. It's got to be rising yeah. above it. Next so, one. So, the last one, uh, Daryl sends in. So after the comments over the weekend, uh, what can be done to stop these TV pundits from being allowed to spout all manners of false facts uh, and it hasn't been acted upon? However, it was great to see the fans and the journalists correcting Rio and calling them out. Uh, what is stopping the FA from looking into Ashley's running of the club? So multiple questions in there. Right, so we'll start with the major topic, which has been the last couple of days. So let's start with Sherwood. We'll discuss that prior. I don't think Sherwood's are that bad, to be completely honest with you. Oh, Pay the way people are kicking off. Ferdinand. <clears throat> right, so... Absolutely diabolical. Credit Jay Comfrey. He doesn't hold back. The first thing he goes in there saying, we've had lots of mentions from Newcastle United fans saying the reason you do this, this and this is because of the ties that you've got with Newcastle United's owner. Yeah. No fucks given whatsoever. You saw, you saw Rio's, Rio's arse like, properly dropped. There's no didn't ball it? player. There's nothing. He's, he's ball deeps in his arse there, isn't he? Rio, well, he, said, he said that before Rio had anything. anything. Yeah. Before anything, Rio hadn't even said anything, and he said that. So, which ignited the fire, like, but yeah, it, it, exactly. It was, so you, you watch that. It was just his reaction. Oh, oh, oh that's Rio, like, absolutely ludicrous. I hardly he even know the guy. Yeah, so he goes, I, I don't really know him well. And so he says, I don't really yeah. know him well. Which that well, we that all know well. from from past things that have been put on social media. That he's got ties with, like, so Keith Bishop. Well, that very day, Sports Direct, Mike Ashley. That very day, Keith Bishop Agency tweeted something. Put like a that. tweet out saying we are delighted to have Rio Ferdinand with his exclusive deal at Sky at uh, SportsDirect.com. So, his first thing, to shoot yourself in the he foot goes on one defensive, tweet. saying I don't really know him, but then that he gets well. very, very animated mm-hmm. about defending what he's about to say. He's That's the most passion ended. I've ever seen from a pundit who's got no ties with either club involved. He's straight on the defensive, straight in the end saying, we should be thanking Mike Ashley because he spent £50 million from his own pocket. Of course he has. Right, so £50 million quid has. out of his own cash. On wallpaper. On wallpaper, <laughs> yeah, on wallpaper. On, on the, it was a team that got relegated to get back in. He then went on to say, well, look, Sunderland, they only spent blah, blah, blah. Two million pound. They got fucking relegated. Like, why? Why are they getting brought in the same equation just to try and fit your what Declan normally says? Try and fit your your narrative about what you, you're going to sleep with for. Jay Comfrey once again he's straight back in there trying to give him facts. He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't want to listen to anyone. At the end of the day, he's just embarrassed himself, really, hasn't he? Yeah, he, he's dropped a bollock. 
and he's tried him so hard since that interview to, to, to try and justify it. That has he shite? Did you not see his first tweet? No, the no, that's what I mean. Over, even afterwards, I think did, did Jake not mention it at half time as well, saying like it was that full time, saying oh, I bet your phone's going going wild with mentions from Newcastle United fans. Then he says Alan Shearer, he's like, don't care, don't care. What a prick! I mean, let, let's let's not <clears throat> I'm let, gonna, I'm let's gonna, not get facts in the way of what he's what he's got to say. Huh? We'll just. I'm going to say that I think it's uncalled for that I've seen fans. On about his dead wife and that. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, that's yeah. not on. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a guy's opinion. Vore, it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. It doesn't. Come on. Past the, what's Come happening on. in his personal life? Bring it. Bring the drug test in you as much as you fucking want. <laughs> bring <laughs> that up. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, yeah, I have to laugh. I have to laugh. There was one from this Mike Ashley account, which is amazing on Twitter, and it said there was the article like about Mike ten wives, Mike ten wives, about <laughs> why have five, why have five, five wives. Wives. <laughs> <laughs> But in fairness, that that's wrong, and I think. What he said was wrong. The other bit that I could not work out was when he says, one. "Why, why would he, why would he spend thirty million pound when you want to sell the club?" And because you could buy him, no, and no, buy him sixty and, million. Well, 30, thirty million, million pounds on a mixture, thirty yeah. million pounds um, on a striker, and then both might get injured. Um, and I was like, I, I, all Humphrey had to say was, well, "All right." So what was the Glazers turn around and says, "Well, actually, we're not going to buy anyone because they might get injured." Well, yeah. he, he did. What, he, he, what he, would you, what would you say to that? Jake you know Humphrey I mean? and, and turned around straight away and said, "Well, you could say that about." About anybody, any. Of course, you would never say that. The bottom line was he got rattled. He got rattled off what Humphrey said, absolutely, and he just started going uh, to try and defend Ashley. You could say, Mm -hmm. or defend his opinion of what he said previously, and he got rattled so so quickly. Like he just started spouting shit and he couldn't take it back. And he started comparing with a fucking bungalow at one fucking Well, that was the point. Because was the point. Well, H- it, mate, Humphrey's answer there was quick perfect, and clever, wasn't yeah, it? Perfect. That was quick. Because I don't know how I would answer that without... The, the thing is, is J- Jake Humphrey's afterwards. done his research because it's not that long ago where he was questioning our, the, the fans yeah. and what was you know, said and all that Karen kind of thing. And, and the difference is, is he actually paid attention to Fans to what people said. The <clears throat> journalists had said stuff like that. He did a bit of research, Even and then before the show, he said, "I'm listening to Newcastle United yeah, fans yeah, yeah. or something yeah. like that." So he obviously got a lot of mentions coming yeah. up in that game yeah. from trying to defend us as as fans mm-hmm. of a football club and what's been going on. He said, and a he, he's, of done, he's done it from ever since." He mentioned about the spends of other clubs. So he mentioned, I think, Brighton's, yeah. perhaps Bournemouth, yeah, maybe Huddersfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huddersfield. Then he mentioned I was with six million. Yeah. That got a bit of a like, uh, well, I don't really care. Yeah. Then he says, you've called them a yo-yo club. And then he says, well, they've, they've never been relegated since this time. That was the close yeah. of the show. And then That's he says, the show closed. they've been relegated twice. Uh, go, sorry, if they go down again, that'll be three times in the ownership mm-hmm. of the guy you're defending, pretty much. And you, it, the, the Twitter one I've seen, the Zoom interview was facing, he's like... He's almost nodding, going oh, through shit. gritted teeth. He's like, shit, like, that's that's an amazing statistic. And that's all you can really do, isn't it? Because you hadn't been fed that statistic by Keith. It's bullshit, isn't it? It is. It's, it's just wrong. I, I don't know why. I don't really know why we're such a talking topic, because we're shite. I don't understand why people care so much. And the other thing is, though, for all we're going on about that, he's brand and all this, all we have done, I believe, is just announce the fact that he has clothing gear and wears from. That's unfortunately but how then, I feel. But when you go to the sports but nobody, website, nobody's buying them. them. Nah. No, we, we, we don't, but I, I still say in the modern day, in terms of all this clicking views and all this shit, no, bad noise is as good as good noise. It's noise. Mm. And I still feel that we've just... So there's a lot of people saying that, that it was a, a targeted thing from, from BT Sports and it had all been set up. Are you under that impression? Or do you just think real Fernandes is daft as what he looks? Because I'm, I'm on, on the ladder. I just think so it's I, stupid. So I, I believe he has been given... Information by Keith Bishop's agency um, of of talking points and just try and defend facts. Try and defend Mike Ashley. Well, if that's the case, that's fair enough. But then that means that that whole conversation has been engineered to get yeah. that way. It's a conflict of interest. Well, that's what everybody's been saying. But it's a massive conflict of interest having him commentating on on Newcastle games when he's got affiliation with with the owner. Yeah, but, but why? Why was he even? Why was he even a panelist on on this? But, but he always is on BT. On but in fairness, just because you're a commentator in the studio on football doesn't mean it always has to go about how we're spending the money. You, you can still have an opinion on the game of football, or we shouldn't have played five at the back, or whatever he wants to say. But I just felt that I, I, it got quite quickly, didn't it? That now it oh, literally yeah. came back, yeah. and then Humphrey just goes, "Right, I'm going to make this fire now," and then bang. I didn't understand how it got where it got to. To be on, to be really honest, it wasn't as if. Rio started slagging him off and then he then says I was just straight in there man. literally I think it was quiet oh by the way you're getting grief because you work for Ashley pretty much 
and then it, that just made, and I just felt that was a bit staged to be honest but when he said yeah. that do you know that gif of a um, Carragher and Henri huh? he sits and he goes Aye. That's all I was like, he's done it. <laughs> it was, I thought it was amazing. And then, then, I love Jake and, Humphrey. And then you've got <coughs> the moment of all moments for me where you've got Rio said what he said and then you've got Richard Keyes with yeah, the like, like, Oh my God. My God. How, like, yeah, how, can you, how can you take that utter embarrassment <laughs> of what Rio Ferdinand's <laughs> delivered and then <laughs> Ten fucking was. just... Pfft. So Richard Keyes comes out and says, defend him well. I sit, totally well agree with you, Rio. But... This is what Richard Keyes does, right? So I think you've got to take whatever he says with a pinch of salt. I think Rio Ferdinand was actually being stupid, right? I think <laughs> Richard yeah. Keyes done it for a reaction yes. and he got one, yeah, right? No one cares what Richard Keyes got to say anymore. He's on a different. He's in a different. I didn't know. I, didn't country, did but I think we're just like abusing him to be honest. So he's in a different country. We never really see him unless you're watching a dodgy stream. And when I am, when he comes on the telly, I normally just disappear anyway because I, I can't stand him and Andy Gray, the pair of pricks. So he comes up and says, if Rafa, basically, if Rafa Benitez is l- that ludicrous. bothered, the club's for sale. First of all, he said, why doesn't he buy the club? Buy the players. And then the said, second one was, buy the players. Yeah, so it was so both in one tweet. Use your own money. It's so, all about teamwork and buy your own players. So Randall Bell, <laughs> friend of the podcast. Yeah. My Randall. You mean Randall Ball? So <laughs> he's straight in there, right, with a tweet. <laughs> Absolutely. I think it's had nearly 30,000 likes oh, on it. God amazing. knows how many shares on it and retweets. Absolutely fantastic. Loads of people stole it since. But the replies to that, the, the, by journalists, Matt, by anything, Yeah, that like, was what was what good. That was good. Fuck have you just said. Luke Edwards was a mint when he was like, this is the equivalent of crashing it all 70 miles an hour. Yeah? You're uh-huh. not coming back from this one. So the likes of Every, George Everybody Morgan, rounded on Mark Rio Douglas, and... Luke Edwards, there's loads all of them. All of them, right? Just straight in there, defend yeah. Newcastle and I just post an article saying this, this and this. You're wrong. Do some research. There was no, no malice about it. There was... the they were pretty straightforward saying if you're going to criticise something at least get your facts right and none of what you've said is correct well that that, that one about I, I, it was funny because when I first seen it that I just went from just so irate like honestly when I read the Richard Keyes one I was so angry and then I realised what you know what it is he's probably laughing when he's press sending yeah. I really believe he's press sending when I'll just drop a bomb on Sunday here like, and just, blow all the hairs on his phone maybe yes um, but on reflection of it all though like he's he just shouldn't be able to say something like that and be in the position that he is in terms of his TV job mm. and stuff. How can you have that as an opinion? And Do put you think as pundits? I know, I know. It's just Andy Gray and Richard Keyes were, were, were quite well thought of back in the day before. Oh, the way, I loved them. I'll be honest with you. For I being they were perverts, but I, I, well, smash it. I don't even say alleged that perverts. Ah, smash it. I didn't think there was much in it. Me, like, to, to be honest with you, I didn't. Think What's stand there? Said, "Oh, I'd love to smash that." I've said it many times. Oh, we're going to have to kick him on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, were, the, no, listen, they weren't actually live on TV. It wasn't even on it. In this woman lightning well, business. That's all right, then. What's the matter with that? <coughs> oh, Deckard, stop, so man. It, so stop. <laughs> thanks for tuning in to Deckard's last appearance <laughs> yeah. on the All the Smiling Faces podcast. If <laughs> there is a, a position or not, if anyone wants to join me, Deckard might have to get sacked yeah. after this. All, all sexual preferences, genders. I've seen a lot worse. Honestly, I've heard a lot worse and seen a lot worse. But can we, can we just make it sound worse so we can slide a little Yeah, bit. No, that's fine. Yeah. It was terrible, disgraceful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The most ironic bit out, out of the whole thing around this Richard Keyes is that then uh, it then dug up a tweet that he sent back in, well, in August this this uh, last year, so the start of the season, about his beloved Coventry City, mm-hmm. uh, which was a, a message to the Coventry City owner. And he said, uh, there's no reason why owners of football clubs shouldn't make a profit but not when you've been in charge for 10 years and delivered total failure. This is hard to fathom. Well done, Richard. Thanks, thanks, Richard. <laughs> you've just, them that. Must so be. that's, that's, so you, you're confirming everything that we've been saying all along for the last 11 years of uh, Mr. Ashley's tenure. Did you see the tweet he got, by the way? You must have seen it. Yeah. Oh. The real bad one, someone replied to him. It was amazing, but it was bad at the same time. But he's... Wife and his yeah. daughter's friend. The way it was worded, yeah, it was perfect. Hey, it was, it was bang on, wasn't it? I couldn't have wrote about myself. So, Bry, true Jordy Bry, actually replied to Rio tonight with an absolutely fantastic Brilliant. message. Brilliant. I, I don't have it at, at, at my hand, but if you want to check it, go and have a look what, what true Jordy said to, to Rio. See, I, I, he just rinses him without I, even being harsh. That's, I prefer ones like that, mate. Yeah. Just be factual like that. Don't, don't, you know, I, I know it's funny in that, and I know it, it gives chance to people to get likes in that, but. I know people put things on as a laugh, don't they? Yeah. To try and get that like, interaction. But I like ones that he did the night was just 
this is why your opinion mm. shit. But the but rightfully, do you know what yeah. I mean? It was amazing. It was really well. Put. But Brian said he was bringing the thing in. If I'm really nice, he'll come on the podcast. <laughs> well, nah, well, I think, fair, so. but I think I think there's a I don't know. I don't know if he's been so wound up, which are keys off of previous comments. Because every time he says something, we're all over him, aren't we? Yeah, call I mean, him a, yeah. <laughs> what was it a wolf nonce or something? I wolf nonce. <laughs> <laughs> Hairy handed. Uh, wolf nonce. I got it like off that. It's an absolute shambles. And, and I, tell you, I tell you what's annoying is though, right? Is every time we're on telly now, it just seems to come back to something like this. It seems well, to be every week. Man. Well, I'm it's telling like, you again tomorrow night. So we're going to have No, it'll be alright because it's, it's a shy game. Anyone cares. But whenever it's a, like, a, a, you know. Monday night football or a okay. Sunday four o'clock or a fright or or a, or a one night that Saturday night and we'll get beat especially if we get beat it just always seems to be a commentator that like has to so the matches on BT Sport again tomorrow night oh Jesus so BT Sport I think and just look at how many views we got on social media yeah I know said. that's what I mean and well it comes back Jake, Jake Humphrey actually made a comment on Sunday how morning about, about how many about views it had got yeah. Yeah. See, that was well that was more than 2 million so I think the real third night had 4 million or something ridiculous like that so I think it's Robbie Savage on tomorrow, and I'm not sure who else. It's Robbie Sa- Jane S. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, Jane S. His comments since the last time he criticised her, I think he went away and, and listened. And did to a bit of yeah, yeah. Well, she exactly. got a hold of him probably yeah. in the studio and matches in the place. Man, you know your shit or not? After, so that was the whole time when I said he had a wank sock on his stairs and he blocked us. That's it was right. that time. Yeah. Since he's wank sock, he's, he's done all right. He's, he's defended with whenever he has done. And had a chance to do so. It's not. It's not even about defending for me. Just not. Just don't bullshit. Just. Just be honest with what. Yeah. What it is. That's all you got to do. It just. You know what I mean. Right. Any more questions? So, uh, where we've been here tonight, uh, Rio Ferdinand has. Uh, oh, I've seen oh, what's he tweeted. Oh, I've seen it with the the fishing emoji. So apparently, uh, forty stopped doing it. 40, no, he's, I emoji. think he's trying to now say it was a joke. Yeah, he is. I think he's now trying to weasel his way out. Yeah, he is. That's what I think. Absolute joke. Yeah. You're forty. Stop using emojis. Yeah, true. Well, how old are you, Mo? You still catch Paul, Mo? 25. 25. Stone. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for the questions, anyway. Yeah, thanks. We didn't have a question answer last week, so hopefully we made up for this week. So, thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, like all the other videos we're putting on. We're going to have another, in fact, when is it? So, it's going to go out on Wednesday. So, we've already just done another video of the reaction to the, the Blackburn game. Yep. Go watch that. So, we're either going to be really happy... Really depressed, or we don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget to don't that. forget to send your applications in for the vacant <laughs> uh, host of the Always so Men Faces like podcast. Sit dead center of the podcast from next week. Decker, do you want to say your final goodbyes? If you've got hairy hands, shave them. Sure. There you go. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>